I'm sorry that my background is very distracting. I am still at my parents' house staying in their guest bedroom, so there's nothing I can do about that. It's your girl AVLN back again with another video. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my other reactions to episode one or two, there is a playlist link above as well as below. So you can check that out if you would love to see it. I'm not gonna talk your head off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase. I know that you clicked on this video because you want to hear me talk about James Charles's new show, Instant Influencer. So usually what I do is like a live reaction. Um, as I'm watching the show, I'm telling you guys like my first thoughts on how I feel and what I see. And um, we're not gonna do it that way this time. I actually already watched the episode, so I'm just gonna kind of give you uh, some notes that I scribbled down in my iPhone, and we're gonna do it that way this time. So in the last episode, if you missed it, Indigo, sweet, sweet Indigo, y'all knew I was rooting for Indigo, was eliminated. We're left with Ashley, Kaylin, Gabriel, and Benny. We started Saturday's episode with James coming into the production studio like pissed off, mad i don't know any other synonyms for pissed off but he was mad and he basically like comes in and is like uh y'all know what y'all did i looked at the footage from last week and y'all was crazy wildin doing all this stuff so y'all owe me an apology and they're like looking around like james what what are you talking about and then he's like <gasps> scene and then they're just like oh james whoa oh my god i thought you was mad at us whoa. Every time that James comes in with like his banter at the beginning of the episode, it usually like prefaces the first competition, which this did. So, so James announced that the compact competition was going to be an apology video and he prefaced it by basically saying, you know, sometimes as an influencer, you get into some scandals. I've been in some scandals and you have to make an apology video. So that's what we're going to do today. And I usually don't have a problem with the challenges because I feel like they're very true to what you would need to do as an influencer. But I don't like the fact that they kind of preface this challenge with as an influencer, you have to kind of fake apology videos or you have to try to come off as sincere. And that wasn't necessarily said verbatim, but it's like that's the vibe that you got from this competition. Because like as they started to scramble and the competition started, they had 15 minutes to shoot an unedited one minute apology video. So they're like taking off their makeup trying to like appear more pale like Benny's like putting in eye drops to make like his mascara run to make it look like he's crying and all of them are like practicing what they're gonna say like oh guys I'm so sorry and then to make it worse each influencer got a card with like a scandal on it and some of the scandals were like overdoing a clickbait title or missing your own meet and greet and monetizing an apology video it's like things that youtubers do that constantly get them into scandals yeah i just didn't like the vibe purposely trying to fake an apology video you should be genuine about the things that you're apologizing about because usually when youtubers make an apology video it's usually something that's like objectively wrong like everyone on the platform agrees you're not a good person it's like james you had a whole scandal and even though yeah you had some receipts his first apology video was not accept it well it had so many dislikes everybody was making like parody videos of him saying that he was like reading from a script he was fake crying like he wasn't sincere so it just it didn't sit right with me but whatever so they didn't really show too much of the compact challenge this episode and i'm curious as to why because they usually show the full process of each influencer trying to like film but i think like this whole competition portion took up maybe like the first seven minutes of a 37 minute episode so it's like did y'all know that y'all was kind of in the wrong for making them do this like i'm a little curious because usually it's half of the episode is the first challenge and then the other half is the second challenge in the elimination but whatever i digress let's move on gabriel and benny really killed this challenge now granted they did not show each apology video for each instant influencer so i don't really have a lot of commentary about what they said or what they did because the only thing that they showed us in the episode was like them as they were like kind of getting it together they didn't really show the full finished product what they did show the video was like small snippets of each one they would show benny for three seconds and then they would show caitlin and then they would switch to ashley and then they would switch it back to benny and then it would go to gabriel so it's like a tennis match like what, what who am i watching right now you know gabriel and benny were actually in the top two and benny won y'all 
<laughs> okay, like, I'm proud of Benny. He won his first compact challenge. Gabe was in, like, the top look. He has been in the bottom two for each elimination round, so I was really surprised that Gabe has come so far in this competition. Not because he's not a good artist, but I don't think he is a great influencer for what they have them doing on this show. One thing I do want to say that I don't know how this happened, but Kaylin spent, <laughs> y'all, I know it seems like I'm ragging on Kaylin in every video. Y'all, she, I love her to death. She is such a sweet person. She even commented on the first video that I posted. I had to hit her up on Instagram to let her know, like, girl, I'm, I don't want you to think I think you're dumb or something because I know it's just it's just commentary but y'all they gave her 15 minutes and Kaylin talked for 10 seconds in her video and then you can hear James in the background like okay time's up like like that's not how he sounds her face is just like she spent 15 minutes I guess writing a script I, her time management skills is just and she knows that. So it's not like anything where she's like, you know, like, I'm good. I got this in a bag. And like, she'll be like, no, I'm slow. My time management skills, mm -mm, I work slow. So y'all gonna have to give me a minute. Like, I appreciate the honesty, but girl, you, you want a competition. I want you to pick it up. But you know what? There's always like some huge disaster that goes wrong with her, either her makeup or her video or her editing or her speed. And she always seems to bring it together. So I was really thinking like, okay, she got this in the bag. She always like seems a little frazzled and then she like puts it all together, puts her little Kaylin finesse on it. But this time, no, no, she, uh, she, she basically didn't do anything. You know, she just didn't do anything. Like, didn't do at all, so. So we get to the elimination round and James talks a little bit about collaborations and how they're, they're very important for like growing on YouTube and yada, 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 collaborations, collaborations, which is very true. Collaborations can really help your channel, especially like whoever you collaborate with has the same niche as you. Niche, niche, niche. I don't know, niche or niche, I don't know which one it is, sorry. Then he then brings out Instagram and YouTube legends. <laughs> I say that kind of facetiously. Nikita Dragon, Bretman Rock, Louis Castro, and Nima Tang. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I don't know who Louis Castro or Nima Tang is, but I do know Bretman Rock and Nikita Dragon just because they're a little bit more controversial than the other two. Basically, the elimination challenge is every influencer will pair up with a bigger influencer, i.e. Nikita, Bretman, Louis, Nima, whatever her name is. They have three hours, of course, to film and edit a collaboration video. The only thing that I don't like about the elimination challenges is that I just personally feel like it's not enough time to get it done coming from somebody who is a video creator and makes youtube videos on the regular i know that filming yeah might take an hour to two hours depending on the type of video but the editing is something serious my boy when i film these reaction videos the day that they come out on friday i'll watch it from like three to four and then i'll be editing from like four to twelve three hours is just not enough time to film and edit like a full makeup look so because Benny won the compact challenge he won an advantage for the elimination round and he was able to have first dibs on who he wanted to pick so he chose Bretman as his influencer to do his collab video with and then he chose everyone else's influencer so for Kaylin he chose Louie for Gabriel he chose Nima oh my god why can I not say her name and it's so pretty for Ashley he chose Nikita I know in the last episode like we were jalapeno habanero carolina reaper pepper off the chart spicy like it got crazy spicy in the last episode but this 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 is a spicy one this is the big 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 one because next week is the season finale oh i just spit that was kind of gross i'm glad you guys didn't see that and i guess i just talked about it so that was unnecessary anyways next week is the season finale so this elimination round is like a really big one we have three people in the finale and only three can go to the finale so somebody has to be eliminate t <laughs> okay i'm sorry y'all it's 11 13 at night i am very tired so back to the elimination challenge ashley felt like because the judges have been telling her for weeks like you need to be more vulnerable you need to be more open with your people you know people want to see your story she thought it would be a good idea for her and nikita to take off their makeup and to kind of shed their deepest darkest secrets or something like that so basically she talked a lot about her son and what it was like being a teen mom which 
girl, I can barely take care of myself. Like, she deserves a hand clap for real. Kaylin decided to do a look on Louie's face that was inspired by a food or something like that. Like, I don't really understand what she was talking about when she was, like, explaining her process for what she was doing. I don't know who Louie Castro is, but she talked about, like, his channel being a food channel. But the look only really looked like red, like, what is this? Uh, eyeshadow? If y'all been watching this series, y'all know I don't know nothing about makeup. He just really had, like, red eyeshadow, so... I don't know if like his channel is inspired by like Cheetos or like cheese puffs, but if it is, that made perfect sense. Like I'm I'm here on that. I don't remember exactly what Benny did off the top of my head, but I remember that Gabe and Nima, oh my god, it was like so cut and dry. Like there was barely any like banter. Like you can kind of tell like they didn't really have a lot of chemistry. But from what they showed, like she was so bored. Like she was just sitting there and the look that he did on her face was so beautiful. He was standing up out the shop for a majority of their video. Like yeah girl, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The whole point of the challenge was to highlight your personality as well as the influencer's personality. So if y'all are just standing there like not talking to each other, did you really do anything? Did you do? Cause you did not do. So we're five minutes left into the competition it's like a mad dash to like click and edit and edit and click ashley and nikita finished first not surprised ashley is the queen i think she got this competition in the bag not gonna lie so finally we head into eliminations gabe and kaylin are just like so not confident in their videos while as benny and ashley are like oh yeah we killed that got it in the bag so i'm not going to talk a whole lot about what the judges said because my thoughts on the videos are kind of the thoughts that the judges gave we start with bretman and benny and the thing that i didn't like about their video is that it just felt very forced like it felt like bretman was a little too much for benny and it's not because like bretman was doing the most it's just because their personalities are just so different i felt like benny was really like struggling to like keep up with the energy while also being like genuine with like his conversations and his banter I really didn't like that about their video also one thing that I noticed that the judges also noticed they did a lot of cussing they dropped the word a lot and it was like a lot a lot Bretman is that type to be like be this and be that and he could do that because that's just how he naturally is but it's like coming from Benny it's like Shut your ass up. Next, we have Ashley and Nikita. And I mentioned earlier, you know, they decided to talk a little bit about their personal lives. The only thing that they clocked Ashley on was like some technical things with editing. But that was pretty much all they had to say about her. Kaylin and Louie's video was actually really good. I really appreciate the energy that they had. They really came with like good personality. Like their banter was very genuine. They felt like they had really good chemistry with each other. But Kaylin being Kaylee y'all she didn't have enough time to edit and she also had some technical difficulties while editing so at like the last part of her video there was a part that she just didn't cut out of them just kind of like talking about what they were gonna do like I said three hours I just feel like it's just not enough time to film and edit a video as well as come up with a completely like brand new concept I'm gonna give her a little leeway here I, I feel for it. finally we have Gabe I already talked about like all the things that he didn't do so there's really not much to say about his video and the judges really didn't have that much to say either after doing his makeup look and filming Gabe only had about 45 minutes to finish all of his footage and get it all done I was thinking okay maybe Gabriel can kind of like pull this together no he could not pull it together he had to basically cut out all his banter which really wasn't a lot and he just made it like a fast motion video of him like doing Nima's makeup and he really wasn't in the shot for most of the videos so finally they did the elimination round way different this time and I'm assuming because the season finale is the next episode so James just like straight up announces Benny Kaylin and Ashley y'all are going to the season finale ooh, ooh, ooh. everybody's dancing crying you know emotional and then we have Gabe who we kind of figured was going home it was like you messed up all day long you know you didn't do you just didn't do you know and that was that was just that you didn't do Ashley won two competitions I'm just ready for Ashley to take this thing home it's definitely gonna be between Ashley and Kaylin I just feel like Kaylin and Ashley have the skills and the personality to really just take off 
in the influencer industry. We have one episode left of this series. James warns everybody to think big for the season finale. So I'm actually excited to see what they have planned. So I'm ready to react and I'm ready to give y'all a recap. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you haven't seen my reactions to episode one and two, you can do so above and there is going to be a link to the playlist below. If you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed and you decide that you want to subscribe, make sure you hit that post notification bell right next to the subscribe button because YouTube does not always let you guys know when I post and I would hate for y'all to miss anything especially this season finale make sure you come back to AVLN all right I'll see you guys next week you stay tight and I'll catch you another late night bye did you like and subscribe